So I joined in 1992 in, in uh, saint Saint-Jean, so a military college in Saint-Jean. I was there for the first three years and when the college closed in 1995, I came over to uh, RMC from 1995 to 97. That's where I played hockey with uh, RMC. I joined the military because of the adventure and the opportunity to play hockey and go to school uh, without my parents having to support me and, and then being able to support the rest of the family. Uh, the first year playing hockey uh, here at RMC would say one of probably one of the best, uh, probably the best hockey year of my life. We actually made the playoffs that year uh, for uh, probably the, one of the first times in the history of the team. We had a lot of veterans that year. We had an ex exceptional, exceptional coach and coach uh, Jacques Tremblay. So I mean, not only did we enjoy playing hockey, we made the playoffs. We had a very tight team, and. Uh, the coach also called his, his dressing room the school of life, so not only did we appreciate the whole hockey aspect of it, the, the whole camaraderie and the whole uh, mentorship we were getting from our coach at the same time. There was actually a W5 show on us at that year. So we, again, we had a good team that year. We had high hopes uh, of beating West Point, but West Point has always had a very strong team. Uh, so the workup with W5 uh, made that even more exciting. Uh, I remember us playing the game uh, at the time, uh, at the uh, what, what preceded, I guess, the, the K-Rock Center. The stands were full. It was a very tight game. It'll sound like an excuse, but a lot of our guys actually had the, the flu the week, uh, the week of the game, but we still went in. Uh, because uh, you know we thought it was our year to win, and unfortunately uh, we hit a very uh, solid goaltender on the West Point side and lost 2-1. But it was a very tight game, and it was a very uh, hard-fought game. Uh, but unfortunately, we fell uh, on the losing side of it. I get goosebumps just thinking about it because you know, uh, and and this is years later. But when you're young, you get into that game, and you're right. You're representing your country, and you know how patriotic and proud the Americans are at. So that, that just brings the, the intensity of the whole thing uh, one notch higher. So when you get on the ice, I mean, uh, uh, again, getting back to that W5 video, our coach used to say, you know, it's war. So it, it feels a little bit like, like war on the ice. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, there's a lot of respect between the two teams, but uh, everybody uh, leaves everything they have on the ice uh, during that game.